Hi guys, how you doing? My name is Ben, I'm that beard guy, and today, rather than reviewing a product, I'm going to actually review a service, and that's a service of Sharps. Now, we recently, well, I say recently, it was about 12 months ago now, we recently had some uh, bedroom furniture bespoke installed into uh, our bedroom. Now, you're currently watching the long review video, so it's a comprehensive overview of the process, starting from the design visit, right through to delivery, assembly and the finished product uh, after many months of using it I'll give you a bit of information a bit of my opinion of what I feel if however you'd rather see the short review video where I summarize everything in around about two minutes then just click on that link above and that will take you straight to the video but if not stick around and let's get on with the review So the first part I want to talk about is the design visit. Now we had the design visit after emailing in and asking for someone to come and visit a house so we can get a bit more information and find out exactly what our options were. Now that design visit was on, we scheduled it for a Saturday morning and it took around about two hours. A very nice fella came. He was obviously a salesman so straight away I was on the defensive because he wants my money and I want his, uh, his bedroom furniture but I want it for a good price. So. Uh, he came around, he measured up the uh, bedroom where we wanted the, uh, the, the wardrobe to be fitted and uh, he showed us, he, he sat there in front of us and actually physically drew out uh, the plans and he made sure that we knew exactly what our options were in terms of the design, uh, the specifications, what the measurements were and what options we had in terms of the configuration of the shelving unit. So whenever we, uh, whenever we wanted something, he'd get a rubber out, take it away or get rid of it and change it based on what, what exactly we wanted. Now when it actually came to talking about uh, how everything looks, he had the sample, uh, uh, the, what are they called, sample packs, uh, just little bits of, inf uh, of, of product where it's just cut into small little squares. So you couldn't really get a, a, an idea of exactly what it was going to look like. But there was a, a very comprehensive brochure, so you could sort of mix, mix and match your ideas and sort of color schemes, things like that. Now we were actually going for a full bedroom rebuild at the time, complete renovation, new carpets, new painted the walls, uh, and had this installed and everything. So uh, it was really important to kind of configure everything in the right order. Now when it came to that, we had to make sure that we had the carpets, the new carpets fitted after the, uh, the wardrobes were delivered and fitted. Reason being is that uh, uh, it's easier for a carpenter a carpenter? <laughs> Not even a no, carpenter's deal with wood. Uh, a, a carpet fitter to install the uh, the carpet after the, the wardrobe. So there we go. Now during the visit, uh, like I said, he's a salesman, he's after my money, and I'm after his product at a decent price. So uh, I'm not gonna reveal the price just yet. I'm gonna leave that till the end of the review, but you'll be, I think you'll be surprised uh, at just how much it costs. I was certainly shocked. I was there with my wife. She had a good idea, but she didn't let on that she knew exactly what it would cost or a roundabout figure. There was me thinking at maximum, a couple of thousand pounds. I, I was way off, absolutely way off. So, uh, the design visit, yeah, he came, measured up, drew the plans, and then gave us our figure. Now, one important thing to note is, uh, much like anything, you can haggle with them. Um, we went on the uh, on the Black Friday uh, code, so we had, uh, I can't remember how much it was off, it was around about sort of 10, 15 percent, something like that. So we gave him that, that code, and he applied that straight away. He then uh, added a couple more uh, discounts to it, so, in my opinion, the price is very negotiable. They'll have a threshold as to what they can go to, um, but it was st still a lot of money. So stay tuned for the reveal at the end. Now following the design visit, it was about six to eight weeks before the units were delivered and then installed. We opted for that sort of eight week, the, the top end of the timescales, because we wanted to get Christmas, New Year out of the way before we did any sort of redecoration. So that was the timescales that we were looking at, and about five days before they were due for fitment, uh, the delivery came, which dropped off absolutely everything, all the wood, all the doors, all the, the bits and pieces that they needed to design it. So when it actually came to installation then, uh, the fellow arrived and he was scheduled over a three day period, the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. He was complete by about two and a half days uh, and he just spent all day up there from about sort of half eight until five o'clock, uh, banging away and, and fitting everything and, and drawing up and whatever they do. Anyway, at the end of that two and a half days, our units were complete and I was happy. The one thing I will mention about it is that uh, all the bits that were left over, all the offcuts of wood, bits and pieces, were all put into a rubble sack and left for me to dispose of, which I wasn't overly pleased about. Certainly if you pay uh, this much money, you don't want any after hassle, you just want to have the product finished. Um, so I had to get rid of those myself, take them down to the tip, get rid of them. 
Now the other thing I'll mention afterwards, uh, it was only about two weeks after they were fitted, I noticed that some of the doors had been damaged. Now I, I, I don't know whether that was caused when the guys were delivering them or sometimes during manufacture, but uh, the, the doors, there was some damage to two of the doors. So we immediately got on the phone to Sharps and let them know about it. And within about four weeks, we had new doors fitted and on no problem. There was no qualms, no quibbles about getting rid of them and, uh, and replacing them. So I was happy with that. The other thing I mentioned about the installation was that there are still markings on the wall. So where, where the, uh, the, the guy who's fitted it um, has marked up all the places where he's going to put the joints, there's still the pencil marks on the wall. So you just need a quick rubber afterwards, go around, give them a, a good dust and a clean because uh, they don't give them a, a dust down afterwards. So there's all the, uh, all the materials left, all the dust and stuff left on the room. So after the installation, then I had a good look around and I was pleasantly surprised as to the, the quality. Everything was fitted. Uh, absolutely perfect, absolutely nail perfect. But uh, there was one thing I will mention and that is that there are no interior wooden panels. It is just bare wall. So behind the doors, um, where, where everything's screwed into, it screws, screws directly into the wood and there's no internal panels unless you're talking about the ones in between each individual compartment. Um, I was a bit surprised about that. I thought that uh, there would be sort of back wall, you know, back panels just like on your regular wardrobe, but in actual fact there aren't. So actually it's just bare wall behind. Now had I known that beforehand, then I might have considered getting a, a professional plasterer in rather than doing it myself because I actually had to rip an old uh, built-in wardrobe out and so half the wall came down and so I had to go at plastering myself. So a couple of considerations after I've used them for about a year now is that uh, one thing I wish, I really wish I'd sort of considered a bit more was the positioning of um, the, the wardrobe. So. Uh, I've got my wardrobe and it's directly next to my wife's and then we've got our shoe rack and then we've got uh, sort of bed linen and towels and things uh, at the far end. The problem is having his and hers next to each other is that when I want to be in my, my wardrobe, she can't be in hers and vice versa. So I really wish I'd positioned those at opposite ends of the room. It would have made life a whole lot easier when we're both trying to get changed together. Okay guys, welcome to the bedroom. So I'm here to show you the Sharps uh, furniture that we've had installed. So as you can see, we've selected the uh, four panel doors. So uh, we've decided for gray top and bottom, and then this sort of uh, smoke mirrored glass for the two center panels. Now you can have these in one single panel, uh, two panel, three panel, four panel, whatever you like. They go all the way up to I think about eight if I remember rightly. Um, but we chose the four panel design, really happy with it. It looks fantastic, um, easy to clean. The mirrors are a little bit more difficult, um, but what I'll say is, is um, rather than just using uh, traditional polish, just go with the dry cloth um, and it gets rid of all the marks and bits and pieces um, a lot easier than if you start trying to chase all the smears around the, uh, the glass. So that's my first point. Second point we have uh, selected, so actually the room before, um, if I show you the before picture, I'll show you the, well you've seen the after, it's here, it's right now. Um, but essentially um, the before and after we had uh, an inbuilt old, it was probably 70s or so, uh, inbuilt wardrobe on the right hand side. And then in the center here, there's a chimney breast. Now to my right hand side, your left, uh, then there was a uh, built in wardrobe, which were sort of 90s. So we ripped absolutely everything out, tore it all out. Um, the problem was that uh, we had the chimney breast just behind here. So what we opted for was a shallow shelf uh, cupboard. So if I open this up at the moment through the sliding doors, open that up. As you can see, uh, we've selected these, these shallow, so that's the chimney breast there, that's the actual wall, just like I mentioned earlier. Uh, the fact is there is no wooden backing to the, uh, the wardrobes, just the bits which separate either side of the wardrobe, that is wood. Um, but right at the back it is just the wall. So there we've gone for the, uh, for the shallow shelves and we've used these for shoe racks, makeup, uh, watches and, and bits and pieces. Uh, 
I really thought it was gonna be a problem. I thought we're not gonna get enough room, but actually they pulled it out. They just measured a little bit further out just to make sure, because I've got size 11 feet. So my shoes are uh, quite a lot bigger than my wife's. So uh, we need that extra room. So they just punched out a little bit. I was really surprised that we, uh, the, the feel of the room, uh, I thought it was gonna really cut a lot of room off, but actually it doesn't. Having this whole wall devoted to this wardrobe is absolutely fantastic. Now each of these doors are the sliding doors with the uh, with the slow stoppers on them. So if I just give this a pull, uh, no, that's the wrong door. This is one of the other problems is uh, the doors overlap each other. So this door, this is the far right hand door, that will actually keep on going all the way through. Uh, so sometimes if you don't keep track of the doors, you can end up uh, just having a play with them. So that's the far right door. This is the door I meant to close. As you can see as I close it there, Soft close, so you don't get those hard sort of bangs uh, where when the doors stop, nice soft closing, fantastic. So when we talk about the workmanship then, as I mentioned, it took him about two and a half days to fit this entire thing. It's one person, two and a half days to get it complete. So uh, uh, the workmanship, however, is absolutely phenomenal. In the corners where the uh, where the wardrobe or the wood meets the, uh, the skirting board, which isn't your traditional sta uh, standard skirting board, uh, it's got a shape, a pattern to it. Um, and so actually he's managed to fit it in really well. There is some residual uh, sealant there just left, which um, makes it look a bit, a small bit unfinished, but I'm quite happy with it. It's not something I notice, um, but only when I was making this video and just showing you the little intricate bits, uh, that's when I sort of picked up on, on that little uh, residue that's left. So as promised, the reveal of the price, the total that I paid. Well, before they applied the discounts during our initial design visit, it came to just over £7,000. So needless to say, I was absolutely blown away. £7,000 is a lot of money to pay for a wardrobe. However, we did the Black Friday deal and the extra discounts that he applied on top of that. So the grand total came to about £4,800. Now, obviously that's a lot of money to spend on wardrobe. However, in hindsight now, uh, I'm, I'm actually really happy with them. The quality is is absolutely phenomenal. Um, no longer am I going to have that problem with uh, cheaper wardrobes where you put something in the drawer and the bottom of the drawer falls out or you put something in the, the cupboard, you shut the door and suddenly um, it pops out the back. All that sort of cheap uh, wood that you get, that MDF material, that's, uh, that's all gone. It's all good quality stuff and I'm really pleased with it. So throughout the process, Sharps have been absolutely fantastic, both in the initial consultation, the design visit, the salesman who came to visit us, right through to delivery and fitment as well. I've had absolutely zero problems, like I said earlier, with the damaged door, no quibbles, no qualms, they just accepted it, got the new ones in, got them fitted within a few weeks. So really happy with that. Yes, the price is a bit more expensive, but uh, you do get the 12 year guarantee with everything that's fitted. So I'm very happy that they're gonna last me a good sort of 25, 30 years. If I've got any problems in the next 12 years, then I'll know exactly who to call and it will be dealt with effectively. So if you've enjoyed this video, then hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos in the future. And don't forget to hit the bell if you want to be notified when I release a new video. If you've got any questions or anything that I haven't covered in this, uh, in this video that you want to answer, then just leave a comment below below and I'll get back to you if I can answer the question. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.